possible. So now with that fine it quickly. So I put really high. The, the trick is that if we do high, you can, um, so the meat doesn't draw out too much liquid and there will be sort of a, a beautiful and sort of symbol as well. And for the prawn, because this is quite big prawn, so I tend to put them in straight away too, that put slightly on the side and they'll be cooking slowly. Take about two, min two minutes each side and that's the sort of, um, so now I start to have the smell coming out, they're beautiful sort of uh, coming out. Um, so I can just sort of stir it quickly. Um, that, and it's like very, very similar to smells of coming out. So you got the, um, you got all the chili, garlic, onion, and everything sort of like slowly bring it out the flavor. Right, so now so it's about ready. So it's just sort of like after it's about two minutes, the prawn is ready. And what I do with the other, take it, put it on the side, and so quickly, quickly, quickly make sure that it cooks. When the prawn is cooked, it's sort of an orange sort of color. And the other one, the pork cook is a sort of picked it through and it's a sort of clear, no, no sort of blood or juice coming out anymore. So they, all that cook and I quickly put a, um, a pot on again so that way then we can do the pancake very quickly. So now what I do, I got the pancake mix that we made so early on. I put some turmeric in so they all sort of runny, sort of, that's what the consistency that we sort of want and um, you just stir them, otherwise they tend to have a little bit of um, a settlement. We don't want that. Okay, so now we put a little bit of oil in the pan and then we about to put in some the pancake mix. So this way I say we put about two of these small tablespoons of um, pancake mix and that's enough to be covered the bottom. We don't want too much of it. Um, if you go to a restaurant, they do it in a wok and that uh, can be a little bit big. So we just keep like, like that the same and the pancake slowly cooks sort of milky color into more transparent, clear and then that means cook. But wait a minute or two, you also sort of um, notice that the pancake sort of sat in the way that you can sort of move it a little bit. It's not cooked but it's about a minute away. Now, well, we'll wait for a minute. The pancakes is about to fini uh, finish, it's sort of like very easy, I can sort of use my hand and fold it around like that or else I can, um, I can fold it around, it's a quite sort of simple way of doing it, it's hot though, that watch, watch out for your hand and then what we do is that we put the pancake mix that include pork and then we got pork and we got prawn We've got that in there, they've got mushroom and onion and all sort of thing in there. Um, it's a bit more than actually mix that you would have in an average restaurant, but it's okay. That's fine that we make it, we make it more um, value for money then. Uh, next thing we do is that we put some sprouts in. And we've got this lovely Vietnamese um, sort of herb and spine. We've got coriander, we've got um, perilla, which is a, like a purple herbs, and we've got mint. We've got all these sort of um, vegetable um, in and we also got a little bit of lettuce in so that way then we sort of like it's very 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 beautiful looking. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. You can put them in the middle or else you can put them on the side and then out the, the, the pork is already cooked, the prawn is already cooked. So what you actually do is that you actually heat it up so you warm it up and there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, you sort of know that um, we can do it, you can fold it this way so you can sort of see it. You can fold them in or else you can leave it open. So whatever way you do, that's perfect. I'll, I'll maybe give you some, a little bit of um, pepper in. So to eat the food, you got a bit of iceberg. Um, Vietnamese food, we use it by not only smells and you can see it, it's beautiful, very presentable. But Vietnamese food, you can eat by hand, so it breaks these things up. You put a little bit of prawns in or whatever it is um, and then you fold it all in into like a rose and so it's very freshly um, and you that dip in the salt that you make early on and this is so easy to, um, to do and then um, you eat them. It's fresh, it had mint in it, it it's very minty, it crunches, it's soft and the meat bring out the flavor especially with the sweet sweet, sour, bitter, and that's like fire lemon of Vietnamese food, sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, 
and salty uh, from the fish sources. This is beautiful. It's very condiment each other very well. Um, for this kind of food, you can make it yourself at home very easy. But also you can substitute um, the meat, the vegetable with the different things that you want. It doesn't have to be um, prawn or pork. You can have it with chicken and you can do that with fish or you can do that with even beef. Just saute them and fill all in and you've got that nice meal for your friends and family. I hope you enjoy the show and if you have any comment or question, let us know. We'll answer all your email. And Please join us next show. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now.